Welcome to this week's Life on the Hulls, guys, and it would be very easy to forget the out-of-mind, out-of-sight aspect of a thousand parts of this build, but the bow modifications just can't be forgotten. These mods went on for a number of months, and as I got easily distracted into other more interesting aspects of the project, that said, it beckoned me back again into its clutches and for another epic session of shaping and adding foam to the stem to determine the final shape to work to. The build-up of the foam on the stem took me a couple of goes to get enough meat to be able to fare back ready for laminating. So this is where I was at, a complicated, frustrating, involved process that wouldn't let me leave until it was done. Now in order to get this fair and consistent along each of the sides, I used a shape jig to mark and outline areas that needed to be ground down and sanded down. As you can see, I'm using a very, very light approach with the flap disc. It then went on to a torture board and sanding disc and then an orbital just to basically take it down to make it smooth. You can see here where the gaps are in the actual shape jig that allowed me to pinpoint those sections and then by using a straight edge later on in the video, you'll see me using a straight edge to actually take those areas down to make sure that it's consistent all the way along. So the original stem has had a slight curvy and I'm going to try to replicate that and that is what this line is here. I've actually overlaid glass right past where I want the finish of the stem to be but this actually had a, a nice sort of really nice sort of reverse rake or just you caught. Um, this line here is where I'm going to take this back and then I can start to shape this back and fair it into the actual boat itself. Um, the other thing I'm using is a contour gauge here, one of the shape maker jigs, to tick off sections as I um, fine tune sand them, and I have quite a lot of those to do. It'll actually get easier as I go back, but getting the, the actual bow shape exactly as I want it, and basically this here is done, this here is done, it's symmetrical, and it's actually the same as the other side. So, very important I get that done, tick it off, and then I know that it's, um, I know that it's symmetrical. Uh, and what I'll try to do is replicate that on the other side. So there's plenty of that going on over there. Uh, this side I haven't even started on there. As you can see, that almost dead straight edge is, uh, is, is not what I'm after. I'm after that slight rake that uh, the, the original bow had, just to give it a little bit of form. And this is the line here. As you can see, it's not much of a curve, but it is enough to make it look a little bit more a little bit more stylish, I guess, and you can see over there, it's really starting to take shape. I'm, I've been working pretty hard on this. This has been an epic effort to, uh, to get this done, but it is one of the massive, massive jobs. It's probably one of the biggest jobs of the whole boat. I think that's actually starting to, to take shape. I mean, no one likes big bowls, but, you know, to be honest, it's going to make the boat safe. It'll make it perform better. 
and I know that won't be sort of nose ploughing in, and, uh, and it should actually help a little bit to reduce some of the bridge deck slamming that, uh, that we do have prevalent in a lot of these cats. Okay, so I've got it. I'm using this one as the first former. I've got a straight edge, I'm going to taper it back and to get the vanishing line is going to be just on the front of this. I don't need this last station. And you can see here I've got no movement. No movement. This is going to get torture boarded, but once again no movement. And then once we get to here, lots of movement. So what I'm planning to do is do about every 10 centimeters you can see it here that's the problem area right there so take Right over the last weekend, I spent all of the weekend pretty much four or five hours a day, and it's been 35 every day in here. It's been disgusting uh, shaping my bows. And as you can see here, they're looking pretty good. I've got them almost there with a straight edge all the way along. The only one is the exception. This is N1 here. This last one here is actually going to vanish away to nothing. So this last station I'm not going to need, and that's sort of consistent with the the strong back that I have here actually ends about here. So I need to fair this one down almost to nothing. So from this edge here down to zero, and that's gonna take a little bit of work, a little bit of grinding, and uh, on all sides. So yesterday afternoon, I put in the rest of the foam down here, and on the outside here. So this has been a monumental task. It's one of the biggest things I think I've done so far certainly would rival the sugar scoop extensions in fact uh it's been a lot more thinking in this than there has been in that sugar scoop extension and uh, and they are looking absolutely amazing to be honest i think i've got the right hole shape uh certainly got the volume that i required which was uh, around about 45 centimeter diameter of tube underneath with a little bit of rocker extending up to the bow and i've just left this small bulb on the front that can always be shaved off if necessary and, uh, and reshaped at another date once we determine the buoyancy of the boat. And while I was knocking out that other project up there, finishing up uh, Janet's work, and Janet started this yesterday, but uh, she's got other things to do. We've got a Labor Day weekend this weekend, and, and uh, yeah, place is getting very busy, so we get in and do all that shopping, and then we just hibernate for the whole weekend. She's on Marine Rescue tomorrow. I'll be working all weekend here because it's uh, gonna be nice and quiet. And these are my rudder uh, piston shells, and uh, they're now finished. They'll set up overnight. I'll be able to start to think about installing them as well. So that means I can start to work on the steering of the uh, of the cat. It's uh, been a long 
project in the background while I've been doing other things. Been working on our bows, uh, totally rechanging and redesigning the entire front of the catamaran, and I've had to do it twice, and that's taken me up to three weeks of solid work, hand shaping foam and the correct amount of buoyancy to rectify the issue with the buoyancy that I have with the catamaran. bit hard to film this stuff <laughs> because I'm down in a hole but here it is so I've got the main bulkhead supporting the rudder bearing this will be glassed to the rudder bearing this will be glued in place all tabbed in nice and solid and then the piston can sit roughly there somewhere with enough room to travel back without fouling on the wall now importantly this part here actually allows it to articulate so the whole thing pivots off here so I'm going to put in some gussets under here and I may even put in a second one here to use as a step for getting in and out because at the moment it's about a four foot climb out it is not a very comfortable climb in and it will give me some additional storage space underneath there plus the area that I'm actually sitting in so ample storage I mean most boats don't have this section this is usually where the engine sits with a sail drive so I think that's going to be pretty good. I'm going to glue both of those in, both port and starboard, and uh, and leave them. Come back tomorrow, trim all this off, be able to laminate it all in, you know, tidy it up, make it a little bit rounder so it's a bit softer, core the edge, or at least, you know, wrap the edge, and, uh, and we'll go from there. spent about an hour detail sanding the edge of this and it's all nice and rounded so I'm going to laminate over the top, I'm going to tab it at the top and over the edge onto the actual bulkhead and then what I'll do is I'll come back and do underneath a bit later on. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. Now for the port side, I just spent another hour or so sanding and shaping this guy here. It's looking pretty good. That's come up really, really good. Um, it's basically allowed me to get a nice rounded form here without having to core the foam. There's no need to core this foam. This is never going to cop any abuse here. It's pretty much just in a storage area and one layer of glass on. That's just more than enough to consolidate that down. Two layers on the actual tabbing and along here and down here has given me the ability to be able to strengthen the bond between the shelf and the bulkhead and the rudder bearing so this is pretty strong um, i am going to put some sort of a gusset underneath where the physical piston lives and that will enable uh, a very very strong point because that has a lot of force on it when that's steering particularly when uh, conditions get gnarly last week we fabricated a weather cowling for the cabin wall and hardtop this is a two-piece part had gel coated on each side which now demolded can be trimmed and fitted to the boat it is simple to make these parts in reality, but can we integrate it into a part that looked like it belonged on the boat? The whole build has been an effort to make changes and blend the mods to make the boat our own. The time taken to make this happen can't be underestimated. It is a time consuming part of the process. A lot of the build time has been taking up changing and modifying, which to me is the best part of this whole process in position I just held it in with a little composite angle cleat there and what I'm going to do now is sand around the margins of 
both the part and the boat. Now I've got a little bit of alligator in here where I was a little bit careless when I was laying up the deck, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's just a nothing. So I'm gonna sand down here, uh, scallop away this, I'm gonna repair the gel coat here. This will be tabbed here. So I do need to go quite deep. I need to go into the first you know, few layers of substrate so I can get back to a fair surface, join it all the way along the top here, along the top of the hard top and then down and integrate it in and then that's going to look pretty smick it's uh, going to make it look a little bit more stylish and it'll give me a little bit more um, weather protection i also am going to sand down this outer edge here because this will have a combing on it similar to the combing over there on the hard top and that'll allow water to be diverted down to here and away rather than over the side it could potentially be part of a rain gutter collection system or we're just not really sure how we're going to do that yet but it could potentially be a combing all the way along the hard top to there and then fold down onto here and i quite like that idea for now i'm just going to get in with my sander and get rid of all this and uh, and that should be pretty good often i'll take the parts up to the factory and sand them down that collects the dust with the dust extractor and it actually mitigates the dust on the catamaran Sand the margins of both sides of the parts ready to be tabbed and epoxied into place. You'll notice I've actually masked here the sanded areas and in this case it's to ensure I don't contaminate with the thickened epoxy on the tabbing surface as I'm then going to tab the margins with vinyl ester after the epoxy bead is set and I can transfer back to the styrene based system. Although there's a great deal of extra work in masking these panels it makes a massive difference having an epoxy bond to the actual fiberglass edges and then having that tabbing over the top is unaffected by the chemistry.